Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, December 20th and the week be beginning December 27th. I'm going to take a Christmas New Year's break off, so this would be a two-weeker at the end. Of course, the second week is not that accurate, but anyways, Tuesday, December 26th, day after Christmas, we have a really full moon. It look, will look beautiful, possibly on some fresh snow. Sun is not active this face but there's a lot of stuff coming around that's going to be uh, stirring up the geomagnetic story looking at drought conditions from last week to this week things are a little better on the western slopes in the north but that's about it looking nationally a little lessening of the drought in the deep south smoke wise not much to talk about at all nothing in the west looking at our snowpack we're kind of Averaging on the low side, we haven't hit 100%. We've been 85%. Whoops, one too far. You can see now we're at 75% of median, and so we're kind of getting left behind by the normals. We do have this next storm coming in, so we'll see if that can get us up there. For the precipitation, it was really a southern counties storm this last time. Uh, we had some flurries up around Longmont, just enough to kind of put snowflakes in the crevices in the grass but it wasn't much at all for convection severe weather no severe weather really just convection ahead of this big wet low pressure system coming into california they're going to get inches of rain uh, there it's going to be pretty uh, amazing on thursday it kind of slips into southern arizona and then arizona nevada i'm sorry new mexico a little bit of southern california um just getting some thunderstorm possibilities. Taking a look at Wednesday, we have this big storm coming in. Flooding rains are possible there. A little ripple to our southwest. That passes. This is keen to come in. And then this little bit here is an indication of the northern branch storm. And our chances of a Christmas Eve snowstorm really depend on what, how these two phase together get going. So here is uh, Saturday the 23rd. Third, you can see a lot of stuff is starting to move in. So over the next 10 days, we stay above normal for a few days and then drop Sunday, Monday, and then stay kind of cool to normal for the week beyond. Got a touchy finger today. A really good chance of precipitation Sunday into uh, Monday. Right, taking a look at this big wet storm here and the storm up here we are in the dry right now There's some mountain waves here you can see the clouds have been sort of anchored to the rockies out there i can see it right now at the window um the notable event is saturday night here's the northern branch and the southern branch ripples if they can align we get a better storm slow down and really crank some moisture you'll see in a moment that there is a lot of moisture just to our east so for saturday p.m it we see the low deepening lee of the rockies and this possibly getting really going the canadian is much more enthusiastic i'll show you that in a moment i don't have the north american model because it doesn't go out that far it's just one day before this so let's put this in motion in the GFS. Here's this bowling ball coming down here, just drenching Southern California. There'll be mudslides and floods and everything like that. Here's that Northern branch storm coming down and they just kind of match. You get a little rotating around there. Some energy is staying back up here and then it zooms on past. And after that, in the week between Christmas and New Year's, we have this big ridge forming. So we will be dry uh, for much of that time. A little northern branch thing way up north of us, passing ridge over us right now. There's that another ripple coming in, but that seems to go south of us. So, yeah, north of us, south of us, kind of like that. Very abnormally warm in the whole western U.S., and that is what the uh, U.S. forecast had for the month so that one looks pretty good this is pacific air coming in so we're not going to get brutally cold at all and you'll even see that though the cold front comes in on monday we do get a little bit below normal there's a lot of above normal north of us and really it doesn't go that far below normal it's just not much 
All right, the entire west has a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. This is precipitable water, largely due to this low spinning slowly out here, getting a lot of that uh, pushed into the atmosphere ahead. And it really is moist as it goes past us. Deepest moisture does stay to our east and northeast. Really quickly on Christmas Day, it dries out. And I got some moisture in the northern Rockies. Uh, dew points, I'm just going to show you into the storm. They were in the 25s. So here's 40 dew points, 30 dew points Friday. And then Saturday the 23rd. And then Christmas Eve, you can see 30 dew points, almost 40 dew points come back briefly. That's where we're going to get our chance of some snow on the ground. And then it really dries out after that. Let's take a look at at least the GFS right now, it, the strength of this system is all over the place, run to run and different model to different model. It's really hard to say, but it does look like we'll get some white stuff on the ground for Christmas Eve. There it is. That looks pretty healthy for Sunday into Christmas morning. Maybe a little bit of wraparound after that. And then we just stay high and dry. So for the next five days, we do see moisture. Here's a half inch up to Boulder, quarter inch or so around Fort Collins and south. And that translates into a few inches. So Boulder, three, four, five inches, um, three inches or so out here. This is a, looks like a downslope signature. So you have sinking air off the Rockies, eating into the snow amounts and d diminishing the amount of precipitation. Don't know if that's going to hold, but uh, it's not great. That has not been there every run. Okay, this is the GFS again, but this is a different view, different color scheme. And you can see a little hole right there. And maybe three to five inches, maybe two to four inches right in the Longmont area. It's kind of hard to, to see in the scale. But I'm going to contrast this to the Canadian, which has five to eight inches of snow in here. That's that's pretty healthy. Um, so, and there's a, still a little bit of a hole right there, but there's still a lot more snow happening in the Canadian. The North American only goes out three days. You can see it beginning to hit the mountains and like that. It's pretty heavy right down here, over a foot and a half, two feet maybe. But it hasn't calculated out far enough to show us what's going to happen at the low altitudes. I'll put that over at the Longmont Leader uh, in a day or so. For the next 10 days, not much more happens. It looks very similar. So over the next week, we are abnormally warm right now. The cold front comes in. We have a really good chance of some precipitation. Right now, most of the models are on the inch, inch two, three or side or so in the lower elevations. We stay cool Christmas beyond. Maybe you'll see some snow flurries on Monday morning. That'd be really neat. Waking up to some light snow in the air. A real white Christmas by anybody's definition. Going for the week after, taking us through the New Year's, we have probably really close to normal temperatures, dry most of the time. There's a hint that right after the new year, we might have a system coming in that could change by a day or two. This is two weeks out, so don't put a lot of confidence in it. If you got a three inch, five inch snowstorm on Saturday, well, that can happen. That can certainly materialize and be in the forecast when I had nothing here at all. Just trying to cover that time out there. So Christmas Day forecast, mostly cloudy, high of 39, low of 22. Northeast winds at about 10. And AM snow showers are possible. For New Year's Eve, right a minute before midnight, it looks partly cloudy, 34. West northwest winds at 6. So if you're out watching a ball drop someplace, it won't be too bad. So check out Longmont Leader. That's where I can keep you updated on the snow and lack of snow through the holidays here and again i will not be back next week i'll see you in the new year this has been chief meteorologist john ensworth wishing you to keep looking up